Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be doing a little bit of cleaning after Christmas. Um, this isn't a true like right after Christmas clean with me because before I started filming we did do some cleaning and picking up but um, this is a little bit after Christmas <laughs> clean with me but still there was still toys everywhere um, and I have not done any um, like decluttering or organizing or anything of the toys and you'll see that in the video and I explain it a little bit but um, I end up just kind of putting all the toys that don't have a home quite yet onto the table until I can get around to doing that um, otherwise I just wanted to do a really quick clean and pick up no deep cleaning nothing um, just kind of just get all the the stuff picked up and so I can see my floor and my counters again. So anyways, that is what I'm going to do with you in today's video. I hope this brings you some motivation and let's go ahead and get started. A little nonsense is what I need. Now if you want to get the best of me, got you smiling, that's for sure. Funny how you had the best of me.
Okay, so um, my plan with cleaning is I, I got everything off of this table that I possibly could and I am filling it with the kids' new toys that I have not found a place for yet and some of it may be that things need to be decluttered or some things may just need to be put you know, in the bathroom or something like that. But I am just going to house all of the the toys here on this table. Um, and some of them have kind of trickled onto the bench here. But this is going to be how I leave things until I can do some decluttering and organizing, which I will be sharing that video with you guys as well. Um, but for now... I know this doesn't look clean, <laughs> it looks really cluttered and messy, but this is how it's going to have to be, I think, just to have all this in one location so that I can have the other areas in my room, my house, clean. So anyways, that is kind of my reasoning for this, and this is kind of as clean as my dining room is going to get for now. And then if you come into my living room, Things are pretty well picked up and clean, as clean and as they're gonna get until I can start taking down Christmas decor. Don't wanna take it slow, just wanna let you know. Ready to spend some time, I wanna spend some time. Needed some time to grow, just wanna let you know. Come and sit with me, or take a walk with me I need to speak to you, just wanna be with you Just let me take you for a ride Is there a chance that we could make another try? I think we meant to be, didn't wanna say goodbye If there's a chance, just tell me how Cause time is precious, time is now Don't wanna take it slow Just wanna let you know
Here's to the good days Here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then Say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget yeah. Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let keto crunch wraps and um i'm following the recipe for the most part the only thing i'm not following on the recipe is the actual tortilla shells themselves are not keto or low carb um otherwise the rest i am following to the recipe that um is keto or, or low carb so if you're a little more strict on a low carb diet you're for sure going to want to use the low carb tortillas but otherwise everything else is lower carb so um, to get started with these you're going to start off by making the homemade queso sauce and to make the homemade queso sauce you're going to need two tablespoons of butter four ounces of cream cheese and a third cup of heavy whipping cream and the recipe says to put it into like a food processor um, to blend those together. I don't have that, so I'm just using my hand mixer, as you can see, and just mixing it that way. All right, so then you're gonna add this mixture to a saucepan and heat it up until it is smooth. All right, and then once this is um, heated up and smooth, you are then gonna wanna add one and a half cups of um, shredded cheese 
I am using Kobe Jack cheese and you'll just add that to here and then again stir it until the cheese is all melted. All right, and I have added my cheese and that is all melted now. So you are just gonna to wanna to set this aside and keep it warm. Next, you're gonna to want to brown one pound of ground beef. Once your meat has been browned, you are then gonna to wanna to drain the excess um, grease or fat or whatever off of it. And then you're gonna add two teaspoons of taco seasoning. I added a little bit more than that. Um, I don't know, I added two heaping teaspoons and then I just kind of sprinkled a little more taco seasoning on there. And then I did just add just a tad bit of water to it um, and then just cooked it up until the water was um, kind of cooked cooked down or out of it or whatever. Um, so that is what I did for my meat. Next, over medium heat, you're going to want to heat up one tablespoon of olive oil. And then you're going to take um, your smaller tacos, so I'm just doing street tacos, and then you're just going to want to toast them um, in the olive oil on both sides until they're crispy. Next, lay out your larger tortilla shell. I'm doing the burrito size, and then a quarter of your um, meat, and then you can... Um, put some of your cheese sauce on top of that. Then you're going to want to put down one of your um, shells that you made crispy, the smaller shell, and then you're going to add some cream cheese onto that and then you're going to sprinkle with lettuce, tomato, and um, shredded cheese. You are then going to want to fold up your edges and then you'll lay this side down onto a pan with some olive oil in it and heat it up until it's crispy and until um, the it's been you know the seams have been crisped up enough so that it doesn't open up and you'll want to crisp up both sides all right so I have it folded and then I have that um, folded side down onto my pan and I'm just gonna crisp up this side and then I'll flip it crisp up this side and then it will be ready to enjoy all right, so here is how mine turned out. Here is the other side of it. So then you can just cut it in half and enjoy. All right, you guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.